Hi there, welcome back to DMK Skoda in Wakefield. Today I'm going to be showing you around a Yankee Hotel 70 Oscar Kilo Oscar, which is this fantastic Skoda Superb Sportline estate. It's a 2 litre diesel with 150 brake horsepower and a DSG automatic gearbox, and it looks fantastic in this Black Magic pearlescent effect paint. Obviously, the rain doesn't help now, but it does look stunning with or without the rain. I'm going to show you around it now, show you some of the features. We'll start off with the 19 inch alloy wheels, the Vega alloys, my personal favorite of these uh, wheels that we do. Nice five foot design, all in great condition and with plenty of tread left on the tires as well. As you can see, we've got the Sportline badging there on either side of the front wings. As we move further back, you can see you've got black window surrounds, a black roof bars and tinted rear glass to give it a nice, sporty, menacing look. And you've got the filler cap as usual on the right hand side. And then as we come around to the back, you can see we've got the Skoda and Super badging in the chrome. Very, very nice there. And if I show you in the boot, which is electronically operated, you'll find, as usual with these, the two-step parcel shelf and a huge boot in here. Really is a practical boot. You've got an inflation kit below the floor, extra storage in the sides. You've got the uh, torch, removable torch that's also an interior light. You've got the hooks on there for your shopping and a 12-volt charge socket there. Your ski hatch with your 60 40 rear folding seats just very very practical back here i know from experience you can get two cent burners in the back of these so that's very very handy close that there then speaking of the rear seat i will show you them now inside here you've got lovely black half leather half alcantara in excellent condition you've got the ice fix points on the left and right hand side you've got the obviously the center armrest with the two hidden cup holders and pen holder and the front of the ski hatch there so that doubles as a third seat you've got lovely carpets down there as well you've got the in ambience lighting there in the door that follows all through the doors and across the dashboard electric windows and of course this dark headlining to give it a nice cozy sporty feel very very nice back there all four doors have keyless entry as well as the boots making it extra practical and there is keyless go in the car as well but well then as the rain gets a bit heavier i'm just going to show you quickly the front you've got the nice daytime running lights got a nice black grill it just looks really menacing this so now that's there and i'll just quickly jump inside forgive me there we are we've got electric uh, adjusted seats with three memory settings there I'll jump in please excuse how wet it is outside uh, so yeah you've got virtual cockpit in the center where's the map gone there we go i'll just quickly correct it there so you've got satellite navigation in the center very nice and we just tap view uh, split screen on oh, no, opposite screen all right we'll come back to that but yeah you've got you can have navigation in the center and as you can see we've got 54,795 miles which for its age is just about worn in you've got volume controls and uh, voice control and song and radio selection on this side these buttons to control the screen in the center so you can change the view which is very handy you've got indicators there just below that adaptive cruise control and then on the right hand side the front and rear wipers you've got your automatic lights here with rear and front fogs like so then you've got all electric window and mirror controls including electronic folding and heating and you've got rear door passenger uh, door locks there as well which is nice and handy locks the windows and the doors then for the entertainment obviously we've all got shown you the satellite navigation you've got apple carplay and android auto connectivity you've got dab and fm bluetooth uh, connectivity as well for phone and for music then with these buttons down here you've got all around parking sensors which come on if you put the car into reverse or if you press that button there and then drive mode select as well which is very nice then as mentioned you've got the dual climate control system you just press sync and it follows to what the driver set to with your front heated seats direction buttons there very nice below that you've got storage for your phone with a 12 volt charger socket and a usb port that's hidden away nicely then you've got the DSG gearbox itself. It's seven gears, nice and smooth. Knock over left to go into manual and just use the flappy paddles to change gear. Or pull back once and go into sport. Pull back again to go back into normal driving mode. Very, very smooth gearbox that. Then as mentioned, you've got the parking sensors, drive mode select, traction control turn off, stop start control and electric boot opening. Unfortunately, you cannot close it from this button, but you can still open it, which makes it a bit more practical. Then you've got your electric handbrake, door locks and auto hold function. Behind this little cubby hole here is your two and a half cup holders here. And then you've got the air-cooled uh, center armrest that doubles uh, armrest and just a cubby hole there. And of course, an air-conditioned cooled glove box as well with CD slot and SD card slot as well. 
and then finally up here your Skoda Connect buttons and your glass of storage. So all in all, this is a great car this, well worth considering, definitely worth the money. If you are interested, please do feel free to visit us at Denverdale Road, Wakefield, WF27 AW, or alternatively give us a call on 01924 246 900. Thank you very much for your time. You take care now.